senior citizen swinging a chair and also spraying a disinfectant during this parking lot fight in St. Bernard. This assault left one of them in tears and on the verge of losing more than she can handle. She spoke with WCPO 9 News reporter Larry Seward, who is live right now at the Justice Center. So Larry, police told you that they actually want help now for this. Yeah, instead of jail time, they asked prosecutors to steer this case across the street into a special courtroom where increasingly people with violent prior, no violent priors, misdemeanors facing them, and needs for counseling are finding fresh starts. Cell phone cameras caught this parking lot brawl. I asked her, please stop in my court. My car with the car. 62 year old Rose Hawker whacked a car with a chair, walloped a woman half her age with it, then sprayed her with disinfectant. It was the only thing, it was two or three of them. It was the only thing that I seen that I could at least try to hit them with to help them, to get them off. <laughs> the beating that followed. Ain't no help, you just did that. Scarred more than her face or neck. Pending assault and criminal damaging charges pushed her toward a breakdown that St. Bernard police want to avoid. I'm tore up about it. I don't know if it'll affect my job or not. Without that, I ain't going to, I don't have a life. You know, I don't, I don't have a life if I can't take care of people. There were indications from her family that she's under a lot of stress and there may be a mental health component, uh, which we're looking into. Just before her fight, this certified nurse's assistant already grieving her husband's recent death found out a person in her care died too. It made me feel bad. It made me feel like don't nobody care. And this, I've been feeling like don't nobody care. In this arrest report, family members told police Hawker had some mental health issues. It's why the officers asked prosecutors to divert the case away to Hamilton County's mental health court. Years ago, we had no options. Set up to help people with no violent priors who face misdemeanors, this program offers mental health treatment instead of jail time. Admissions to the day program run by Talbert House rose from 23 clients in 2019 to over 30 a year during the pandemic. I hope they just let it go. In Increasingly, officers recommend diversions in minor cases to spare resources and save jail space for more serious crimes. At the same time, people like Hawker, who had no priors, get a second chance without losing control of her freedom. Larry Seward, WCPO 9 News.